Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, I want to show you guys or go through this process of uh, linking uh, an architect's drawing or an architect's model to a plumbing model, okay? So first, what I need to do is get my template, right, to get a plumbing template. And you can use these or you can use your companies or whatever template you can get uh, that you use for me I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna get a template that I've that I'm using so you get a template right get your template wherever that is uh, I think you go here let's go here and let's use this. Okay. And let's say, let's open and open. Okay. So this is our plumbing uh, model. So let's see, I think I'm gonna, can I save? Save as, right? Save as. Uh, let's do. It's a template. Um, I'm just gonna save it here somewhere. Plumbing. Uh, that's RVT. Okay. Plumbing. Uh, let's call it. Uh, 813 let's underscore that underscore and save so I know that was in a plumbing template um, file but it is saved okay so now we have our model you know our plumbing model so but the, the point of this story is to get the architect's model into our plumbing model, right? So I'm not going to go into details of all of this information and all of this stuff, but that will come, you know, as, as things progress. Uh, so what we need to do is we go to view, go to insert, okay? So I'm going to insert or link... Um, Let's go back to our files and get this architect's link model. This is the, the Autodesk um, model that comes with the program. And you want to, positioning is internal origin to internal origin. Okay. And let's open that. Okay. Let's wait for it. Okay. And so now that we have that into our model, let's go to a 3D section. Somewhere there's a 3D section of this. Maybe it's here. Uh, maybe it's here. I could go view. And I think we can go here. Default 3D view. Nope. Uh, somewhere in here. See, this is what I like, the fact that this is what you're going to, this is how you solve these problems, you know, in, in Revit. So uh, I'm looking for a 3D, this one. Yeah, this one might do. Dang, where is it? Uh, 3D view, coordinate. I'm trying to get a three-dimensional. 
mechanical. I could get this. Let's, let's look at this. So our model is here. So I'm going to click on this guy. What I'm trying to do is first I need, we want to pin it. Okay. So if we can pin that. Okay. And I think what I need to do is you go to edit type and we want to make sure that the room bounding is clicked and overlay right it takes you back to your AutoCAD days phase mapping we're not going to do any of that so 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 we want to pin the uh, pin the model and you want to overlay it I think I missed a step so I want to this work set so I'm, I'm going to create a work set and put the architects. I should have done this before. Create a work set and bring in the architects. Um, uh, model and put it on that work set. So let's do this and say, OK, yes, I want art to be the current work set. And I can change this work set to arc. Okay. So now um, let's go to, we can just, I think that what I want to do now is, so if I select, let's select, select, select. And I want to um, um, these are these are from the template file, and I'm going to select this one and this one and delete these two. And all of this is from the template, and which is okay because I want to say okay. Let's I'm going to delete all of these views so there's some stuff is going to change over on the left side but I'm going to keep this um, level okay so um, after we do that what I want to do is collaborate with this information and copy monitor okay so you select the link, which is the architect's model. Select link, and here. Now on the left side, um, we want to copy the levels, okay? So we copy these levels, copy the entry level, let Revit do what it's supposed to do. Copy family level head has been renamed. That's fine. Okay. Um, and I'm going to control. No, I'm not going to control. Just select second floor, third floor. I think that's the roof. Roof. And parapet okay so if you have however many levels you have here you want you want to copy those okay so you copy all of those and so now you are finished okay so now I think that I can delete that level from the template file okay so what it's telling me is that all these other views that you had in your template file are now going to be deleted so that's fine we can delete those I don't need those because it's a new project everything is new delete that's fine so it's just kind of cleaning up things right <clears throat>
Okay, so now that you have all of these, your levels, everything is pinned, let's go to, um, I think we want to go to view and then and plan views and floor plan and all of our levels should be here, okay? All these levels are here. So what we want to do is select all of these. Entry, second, third, fourth, parapet. I'm going to shift and say OK. OK. So now they are, usually they come up in the, I think it's the mechanical, yeah. Mechanical, see all of these. But I don't want them in mechanical. I want them in the architect's um, folder. So I think I'm going to have to create that. So let's choose this guy and the roof. Let's shift all of these, OK? Or however many you have at the time. And you go over to the view template. And the view template, we want it to be the architect's plan, OK? We want to assign the view template to architect plan. I say OK. And so it moved up. It should, there should be an architect's plan up here. Yeah, OK. So now at this point, what you want to do is, so let's, let's just make a test here. So let's, 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 let's not show that. So that's the roof plan. Uh, I think I need to save. Let's save. Let's save. This is the first time projector work sharing. It was enabled. Become the central. Do you want to save this project? Yes. Okay. And that should give us uh, the ability now to sync after you save it's a central file now you want to sync okay so you sync this okay everything is good and i think so now what you can let's just check that's the roof plan first floor that looks okay that's the first floor second floor third floor parapet, and the roof plan. OK, so each one of these, that's the first level, uh, right click and duplicate to, um, for me, it's going to be, I'm going to call this P1, right? Right click, rename, and call it um, P1, OK? So that's going to be P1. Uh, let's close everything else except P1. Let's go back here. I'm going to turn off this template. We're going to go back to, let's say, none, right? Because I don't want it to be locked up for now, meaning all grayed out, right? Because if you look at these, it's, uh, some of this information is grayed out. You can't you can't change the discipline, all of this. So, with this being where it is, I can change my discipline and my sub discipline, which is what I want to do. And I want to put that in my plumbing discipline with the sub discipline of plumbing also. Okay, and it should move down somewhere down here. And so we go through this exercise of creating all of the um, floor plans. OK. So I've done this for the second level and rename to P2. P2. And again, we go through the same. Oh, I think what I need to do is change my template to none. OK. 
and now I can go back and put this as plumbing and my subdiscipline plumbing, discipline plumbing, and it should go back down to that. Okay. So, okay. So I've gone through all of the architects. I've duplicated all of these to my plumbing. This is level one, level two, level three. There's the parapet and roof. So, I mean, if you have mechanical or electrical, then you can name it whatever. I mean, I could have labeled it P level one, P level two, P level three. So it depends on your company standard. So let's just check these um, uh, plans. Let's turn off inactive. So the P roof looks like it's okay. Uh, let's go up parapet. Should be the same as the uh, architects drawing. Okay, everything looks good. That looks like it. bathroom area and P1. Okay, so yeah, so that's how you can, and the rest is, you know, your company standards, but that's basically, that's basic how you link in an architect's model to another discipline, whether it's plumbing or mechanical, it could be electrical, it could be structure, you know, and vice versa, you know. But they all have the same, it's the same process, you know, throughout. You, you want to, you want to pin it, you want to bound it, room bound it, and then you want to get all of your floor plans by copying it, right? And then you go through it, go back to your floor plan, go to your floor plan view, bring in all your floor plans. It's going to be under mechanical, but change that and go back up to the, your, your architect's model, okay? And then you can, you know, whatever your company standard, however your name and convention is. So that's how you do it. That's, that's basically, that's basic um, how you can link in your, um, your other disciplines onto your discipline, you know, and vice versa. So I hope that helped, and I will talk to you guys later.